So welcome to this Did You Know session. We're going to look at how you can change the number of running users during a Blaze Meter performance test. Quite often when you're running a performance test, you need to be able to adjust the number of virtual users, be that up or down, based on how the test is affecting your application. We're going to show you today how you can do that with Blaze Meter. So let's go to Blaze Meter and look at our performance test. So we've configured a test, we've got our users and our duration. We've also got the option here to enable the option to change the number of users at runtime, which is enabled. We've also got multiple locations as part of this test. So let's run this test. The test will start normally. It will then come up to the number of users you've got defined, as you can see here. You then have the option in the top right -hand corner with the runtime control to adjust the number of running users. And you can do that for the whole test, by location or by scenario. So if we click on runtime control, there's no filter selected. This will affect the number of users for the whole test. So currently it's 600. We're going to change it to 500. We click apply. And within a short period of time, this will then step down from that 600. It will go down to 500 users, as you can see there. Now, on the request stats, you'll also get a label that will show you what was changed and who changed it. So you can see there that I changed this at a certain time, it affected all locations and one scenario. I can also filter this. So if I change the location to just this Wyoming location, when we do change number of users, we're now changing the number of users for that particular location. So you can see it's currently 166. We're going to change that to 250. So just raise the load from one location to see how that affects your application. This will then increase that load on that one location, as you just saw. And again, in the request stats, the difference now is it will show you that only one location was affected by that change instead of the three we saw before. Now we can again change this filter and instead of one location, we can do two locations. And the same thing, when you go into the runtime control, it will now show you the value for those two locations, which is 334, and we can adjust that, those locations. So we've changed those to 100. And again, on the request stat screen, what we'll see is we made this change, it affected two locations. Now, as you remove these filters, you'll see on this graph how it, you see what the changes were based on what selected the view looking at. So that first change affected everything. Now we can also go in, if we do change number of users again, and affect the whole test, and instead of going down, we can go up. So let's change this test to 1,000 users. And as you can see, we're now at 1,000, and if we look at the timeline report, you can see these are all the changes we just did. We brought them down, we brought them up. So we've got one graph that shows you all the adjustments we made to these virtual users as the test was progressing. Now, as well as using locations, if this is multi-test, we could also change the scenario. Again, changing the virtual users per scenario. And if we look at a multi-test, um, you can enable this feature per test with a multi-test. So if you have a particular test where you don't want to be able to modify the number of running users, now perhaps that test always has to run of a certain number of virtual users, you can disable it within the multi-test. So you can disable it here. This will stop this test being part of the change when we change virtual users. This allows you the flexibility to have certain tests that always run the same number of virtual users and others that are going to be dynamic that you can adjust as part of your load test. So as you can see how easy it is within BlazeMeter to dynamically adjust the number of virtual users during a load test execution. This allows you that flexibility to test your application to the limits. So for more information about BlazeMeter, please go to blazemeter.com where you find lots of blogs and videos. Also, BlazeMeter University, where there's lots of free courses about BlazeMeter and also open source tools.